I've been fielding a lot of comments lately and questions about Durablade. Many of you, if you watch the channel, you know I love Philips Norelco's One Blade. I'm not even gonna get into that today, but I'm gonna just feature Durablade. Now, one thing I will say, this is the original Durablade. So if you're looking at it online, and I'm gonna leave links below so you can check it out on Amazon, but if you're looking at it today, there's been a slight change in the way it's designed. The claim to fame for this, or the marketing rub, guys, is that it provides a nice, comfortable shave, nick-free, worry-free, tug-free, irritation-free, very similar to your one blade. But this blade here never has to be changed, well, for five years. So five years of shaving, provided the battery stays alive, and you will get a reasonably close shave for just the price of buying the, the Durablade. There you go, that's the marketing spin. What this is, guys, if you don't know anything about these types of razors, this hybrid razor, you see these teeth are these combs, protect your skin from the blade. It doesn't allow you to get too close so it helps with ingrown hairs, irritation. This is designed to prevent that. And it does a great job. I call it the poor man's version of one blade. So today we're going to shave with it. I'll do a quick shave. But people have been asking me, can you run this underwater? Can you use foam cream? And I'm going to do that today. You know, I was teasing my buddy B-Man earlier today about his love for Hemis. So I'm going to bring him up today. It's going to be a B-Man day. I'm going to use his Nivea shaving cream and I'm going to use it and apply it with this beautiful looks like a lipstick container but uh, my friends at FM brush their HIS line of shave brushes this is called the traveler and basically if you are traveling you got a little synthetic badger hair brush looks like badger hair feels like badger hair but it is not badger hair now the benefits guys of synthetic as opposed to real badger so not only is it cruelty free, guys, for those of you who care, but it's synthetic. So it's more, so it's more hypoallergenic, easier to clean. You don't have to wet soak it before you go. What are we waiting for? Let's get to getting. So again, this is my HIS Traveler, little mini brush, just like a full size brush, guys. You can get in there and really lather it up. And I've been told by some viewers that my lather game sucks. That I really need to use a little bit more water. And really work that lather in. But I don't care guys, I'm having fun. Do what works for you, but that's nice. You see that? All right, here we go. Running this right underwater, guys. So the answer to the question, it's waterproof. You can take it in the shower. You can use creams and lathers and gels. I find, I find really that dry is probably the best for me. And with these hybrid razors, like one blade, you're supposed to cut against the grain so the the uh, the grain of my hair or the hair grows this way against the grain would be on the face would be shaving up so let's go for it Okay, no nicks, no tugs, no cuts, no irritation. So I don't know if you can see, still a couple of spots, but for the most part, pretty smooth. So the hair on my neck, for the most part, growing upward so I'm gonna flip this blade over or I could actually just cut this way but I'll flip the blade over
Now, I've never had this happen, guys, with a one blade. And I felt that. A weeper. And a little bit of redness. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. A little bit of redness. These razors, guys, are not going to get you as close as your DE or your traditional cartridge razor. It's really not the point of a hybrid type razor like this. Really the point of this is actually the longer the hair, the easier it takes care of that hair. Let's say you have a six, seven, eight day stubble that's really hard to attack with a razor. The longer the better. Trimming, getting into the little nooks and crannies, not having to worry if you're rushing, that you're gonna cut and nick yourself. The Dura Blade does not work as well as the one blade with lather. I, I've noticed that today. Worked pretty well dry. Again, poor man's version of one blade. I'll leave a link below so you can check out my comparison video to my Shave War Dura Blade versus one blade. But you know, for the price, and you know, if you're only using it to trim up, to get sort of like that five o'clock shadow look going. Quick in and out, you want something to, you know, get, trim it down a little bit in the shower. This is certainly something to look at. Uh, one blade is much more of an investment. You have to buy the one blade and you have to buy the cartridges and they're not cheap. I want to thank my boy B-Man once again for sending me his Nivea cream and the fine folks at FM Brush for sending me this little HIS Traveler, which I love. I have it in my travel bag. Again, synthetic badger. It's the way to go, guys. Cruelty-free, antimicrobial, easier to clean. You don't have to wet soak it to get ready. And it's from great people from FM Brush. I'll finish it off today because I did have that weeper with a little bit of aftershave. My boy, Duke Cannon. Aftershave bomb. Sweetness to soothe and help protect the skin. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Again, link below to check out my comparison with One Blade and to pick up this product if you're interested and also these other products. I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be like tomorrow. But in the meantime, you know, keep pushing. Way. And I'll see you next time.